Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to the video. You guys have requested this like crazy. Those of you in social info who wanted a more in-depth training of how to go ahead and use the platform. If those of you guys who have no clue what social info is and you want to get started with it, you can start maximizing your potential, hit hashtags, hit the explore page and start growing your Instagram account. This is going to be exactly what social info is, how to use it and how to actually grow with it. So with that said, I will leave a link in this video to social info for any of you guys who need the link to get there it is socialinfo.co not com a lot of people get confused but you can actually get started with social info for free usually it's a monthly subscription but you can get started with it for free so all you would have to do is you click right here get started dash free and you'd go ahead and you'd create your account and i i already have an account created so we're just going to go over to this one right here where i'm already logged in now in a nutshell what exactly is social info social info is a software that has multiple different tools that make your life a lot easier for getting data on Instagram. So you can go ahead and apply that data to your account to grow it faster. Now we're going to go through these tools one by one and show you exactly how you can effectively use them to grow your account. Now, the first one is probably the least exciting tool, but it's good to have. And it's the account analytics. So literally with this, we can type in any Instagram account. We can type in your Instagram account, but again, we can literally type in anything you hit search. It's going to load up and it's going to pull up the page. It's going to tell you the followers of the page, the following, the posts, it's going to give you growth for the last seven days and the last 30 this is a, a graph that you have so this will show you the graph of the growth how consistent is it any dips any red flags you know graphs are really good to look at it's gonna give you the post and engagement so it's gonna be the date posted likes comments the image type and it's gonna give you the link so you can view the post you can actually go ahead and view what those recent posts did not only that it makes your life a lot easier by giving you average likes average comments and this is what I love is the engagement right it tells you what the average engagement rate is without you having to go again before these types of tools came out i remember you would go and you would take like the first 15 pictures you'd add up all the likes and you divide by 15 and that was an account's average engagement rate now you type in a username with social info and bam comes up the engagement rate saves you 15 minutes of your time that's the basically the biggest thing about social info it's going to save you time it's going to give you data that you didn't have access to before so you can grow your account faster that's the account analytics now you'll see a tool section these are the tools that are really going to help you grow the first one we have is hash hashtag research. So we click the hashtag research tool and this allows us to research up to 100 hashtags at a time. So we can start inputting hashtags. Let's say we were a fashion page and we want to grow with fashion hashtags. We want to find the best hashtags we can get. You put in style, fashion, and you have to put the hashtag sign. So fashion, maybe OOTD. You hit research and what is going to happen is it's going to start loading up hashtags and now we are loaded up here. So I put in style fashion in OOTD. We have style fashion OOTD. It gives us the total posts. It gives us the average top likes and it gives us the average top comments. So we can go ahead and see how many posts are going towards this. How much traffic is this hashtag getting? And we can really refine and shape what our best hashtags are. Now, this tool is best combined with the find related hashtag. So what I say is like you want to start somewhere with your hashtag. So let's keep on taking the example that we're a fashion page and the three best hashtags that we can come up with for what we're probably going to need is style fashion OOTD. So I'm going to take these hashtags here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our find related hashtags and you might be doing find related hashtag steps first. Okay. If you already have a few hashtags in your, in your mind, just go straight to related hashtags and just go ahead and paste those three hashtags in while this low and that actually loaded very, very quickly. And one thing to know about social info is the more hashtags you put in, the more you use it, the more everyone uses it, the bigger, the database gets, the bigger, the collection of knowledge gets. So the faster it will pull data if it's been searched before. So here we, we have a ton of ha hashtags now that are good with this niche. So we have stylish fashion, look of the day, fashion blog, fashion fashion Insta, fashion blogger. As you can see, we have a ton. Anyways, we want to do is we want to copy these. You can copy all of them. You can copy some of them. You can copy the ones you like. We're just going to copy some of them here for sake of example. And now what we have is we have a ton of hashtags and this scans the best related hashtags for your niche, for what you put in, for things that are driving traffic. Now what we can do is we can take those hashtags, you copy them and then go back to hashtag research. We're going to paste that list in and now we can hit research. And now what's going to happen is we can research each and every single one of these 
these hashtags individually. We can see if they are good hashtags. We can see if they're going to benefit us. We could take out a hashtag that's maybe not as good and replace it with one that's better. We can refine the list. And what do I mean by that? Well, they just loaded up and now we can see all of the hashtags that we put in. So we can see like, oh, wow, you know, this hashtag fashion has a lot of posts. Now you might determine that, hey, you know what, for an account my size, maybe you have like less than 5,000 followers, I will probably never be able to rank for hashtag fashion. So maybe I should go ahead and I should start finding the smaller hashtags, hashtags that I could probably rank for. Maybe you could rank for fashion post or fashionist or outfit. Maybe fashion's a little too large, or maybe you're a large account. Maybe you do have five, 600,000 followers. Maybe you have three or 4 million and you want to look for those biggest hashtags, the most traffic that you can probably rank for. You can go ahead and you can start refining your list. So maybe I only wanted ones that had triple digit millions, right? That's all I wanted because I already have 2 million followers and I know I could rank for almost anything. Well, I'm going to take the fashion hashtag that has triple digits, you know, fashion blogger. It almost has triple digits. It's 97. So I'll take fashion blogger. I'm going to take style because that has 403. That's triple digits. Uh, let's see what else. Those are the three. So then I could take those three, right? Copy and paste those three, go back to find related hashtags and then find other hashtags that are that large. Or what I could also do is if I wasn't a big account, maybe it was a smaller account. And I was like, you know what? I want to stick with hashtags that are, let's say less than 10 million. Then I'll take all the hashtags that are less than 10 million, copy that list, plug it into find related hashtags and then plug those back into the research tool. So you keep refining your hashtags over and over and over. And really what you want, what I recommend is to have multiple different sets of hashtags. So what that means is you have different sets of hashtags for each post. Now you're probably wondering, Anthony, how many sets do you recommend? I recommend having probably about five sets of hashtags. These are sets of hashtags that are different hashtags. You can have some of the same hashtags in there. Try to keep it overall different though, that you can rotate on each and every single post. You don't want to keep blasting the same post, with the same hashtags, because that's just going to go ahead and raise a red flag to Instagram. And it is a way for you to go ahead and get shadow banned. If you just keep blasting the same hashtags over and over, it's kind of just spammy. So rotate multiple sets. Again, I recommend five sets and I don't recommend going over like 25, 26 hashtags. Me and my safe zone is 25 or less hashtags. But what I max out at is 25. Can you go 27? Can you go 28? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. You can. I'm speaking to the vast majority of people. I have to give out my advice of what's going to help most people. What's going to help most people's 25, then it's up to you and yourself to fine tune that to yourself. Maybe for you, the best is 27 or 28. Maybe you find 25 is too much and you want to go down to 22 or 21. It's really up to you. Start at 25 and fine tune from there. There is no perfect number for everybody because every single Instagram account is different. So just keep that in mind. So that is what I would do. That is how I personally use the hashtag research tool and the find related hashtags tool. That's how I refine my list. That's how I get different lists and I could cycle those on my Instagram posts. And you could even use these for your story hashtags. You could go ahead when you're posting a story, put in some of these good hashtags. Um, if I'm in a bind and I just need to get some good hashtags, I know we're going to work and I'm posting a story. I'll come here on social info. I'll do some, I'll find some related hashtags, find the good ones, plug them into the research tool. And then within literally 30 seconds, I have hashtags ready to go that are going to work that get me impressions, get me followers, get me viewers. How does this gain you followers? This gains you followers because you're going to be able to start ranking for hashtags. If you're using the wrong hashtags, you're not getting anything out of them. Every time I've used social info, I've never gotten less than 10,000 impressions from hashtags alone. And that's even without viral content, just by using the right hashtags. Even if the content isn't that viral, you're using the right ones that have high traffic with little competition and you start to get impressions from the hashtag. So what happens is your post is showing up on on these hashtags and people are seeing that they go to your profile, they see your content, and then they follow, which is the best follower you can have. You don't want to be out there following and unfollowing people. You want to get followers by having people see your content and then they follow you. Anything else is going to be not as quality of a follower. So if you're following and unfollowing, the followers aren't that quality. If you're doing giveaways, the followers aren't that quality. And that's because you're incentivizing. But when someone is viewing your content from using something like social info, because you're posting on a hashtag or you're ranking 
on the explore page. It's a follower that saw your content and thought your content was so cool that they have to follow you. And that's the absolute best follower you can have. Now, moving on, we have the download media tool. So literally all you would have to do for this is link to an Instagram post. You'd go to an Instagram post, you paste the link in, you hit grab post and you can download it. It's literally that simple. It just makes it super easy to go ahead and repost content or just start stacking content for things that you may need in the future. It's really up to you, but most people are using this to go ahead and download Instagram posts. That's what I use it for. Now, the final tool that is there is the find viral content. Okay. This is a absolute game changer. Now I'm just going to show you how this works. I'm going to plug in my account here and uh, we're going to see the viral content pulls up. And this is also going to pull up like the most recent viral content out of the most recent, more recent posts that you have. And it's going to be the most viral content that performed the best. So here we are, I plugged in my account and it's automatically bringing me up the best content I have. And then what I can do is I could see it, it tells me the likes, not only does it tell me the likes, it also tells me the comments. It also gives me a preview of the post and then it allows me to view posts. So if you click view post, what's going to happen? We'll actually go ahead. We'll test it out here really quick. It'll take us to Instagram and take us exactly to that post. Now, if you're trying to see how this all comes together, well, if I wanted to repost this now, I could click these three dots. I could click copy link. I would go back to social info. I would then go to download media, link to the IG post, paste that in, grab the post. And here it is. Now I can download it. Now I can right click. I can put save image as, and I can download it right to my laptop. So that's how all these tools are coming together. Now, now you're doing the hashtag research with the find finding related the hashtags with downloading the media from finding the viral posts. Social info is basically made to have a ton of tools that are used to do one objective and that is to get the most out of your content to go as viral as you can and to take out all of the guesswork if you've realized this is what mainly what social info is doing it's taking out the guesswork if you're trying to grow a repost page and you want to go viral a lot of times in the beginning you're not going to know what content to post you're simply not you're not going to know what performs best you might not know how to do the research on that so while you're learning social info is probably the best supplementation to that because as you're learning, social info is telling you what's best. You're not doing the guesswork. It's literally showing you with data what worked best. So for example, we want to find content. Maybe you want to repost some content for me, right? You plug in my account here and what's going to happen. It's going to pull it up and you don't have to guess, oh, you know, what content should I post? It's right here. It's literally telling you what content to post. This is the best engaging content. That is the content that you want to post. You don't have to go through looking. You don't have to waste your time. It tells you, you get the best piece of content. Then you go and you put in a few hashtag, the hashtags that you think are gonna be good. Uh, get the related hashtags to that, plug that into the research tool. You post the viral post with the hashtags and now you're set. Now you're ranking on the hashtags. You're ranking on the explore page. You took all of the guesswork out of it. You took all of the hard work out of it. Okay. And that is why I say, especially if you're a beginner, if you haven't got that many viral posts yet if you if you have made less than probably 200 posts go viral on instagram you need social info because you need the data to tell you you need someone to kind of hold your hand and that's basically like social info is like holding your hand through the entire process because it literally tells you it takes the guesswork out of it and shows you all the viral posts okay these are the best performing posts on the page all these have between about eight to twelve percent engagement and that is social info. So again, for those of you guys who do not have social info yet, I will leave it linked below in the description of this video. There is a free trial. You can go ahead and test it out. For those of you who are in social info, that is how you want to go ahead and use the tool effectively. That's how you want to use the tool, not only to just have the tool and to get hashtags when you can, that's how you put the whole big picture together and how you're really making content and go viral. If you're curating your own content, meaning you're making your own content, then use the hashtag stuff. I know you might not need the viral content finder because you're making your own, but you could also use the viral content finder on your own page. So then you could spot trends. You can spot patterns. You can say, Hey, each post that I have that seems to have this bluish background seems to get overall more engagement. And you could find those patterns to using the viral content finder. But mainly what you're going to benefit from if you're making your own content is using the hashtags. The hashtags are going to help you rank on for the hashtags. So people are seeing your content, but those are also going to help you get 
get onto the explore page. If you can rank on hashtags, you can 100% rank on the explore page. So with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you now understand how social info is meant to work, how to do it. I know this is requested by a lot of you. So I'm happy just to be going ahead and getting it out to you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on this video or reach out to social info support. They'll help you with all of your questions and make sure for those of you guys who aren't subscribed, if you're trying to grow on Instagram, if you're trying to monetize an account, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you're getting the most up to date information on Instagram. This channel covers everything about Instagram. So make sure you subscribe while you're at it. Go ahead and drop this video a like, leave a comment down below what you think. And I'll see you all on the next video. Keep grinding, keep hustling. Let me know any of your thoughts down below in a comment. Keep grinding, keep hustling, and I'll see you all on the next one.